You guys wanna watch this Aaron Rodgers interview? I have not seen this yet. I just know what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us right now, a man you might have heard of, the current reigning, defending, undisputed MVP of the NFL, Green Bay Packers quarterback, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. The floor is yours, Mr. Rodgers. I realize I'm in the crosshairs of the woke mob right now. So before my final nail gets put in my cancel culture uh, casket, mm -hmm. I think I'd like to set the record straight on so many of the uh, blatant lies that are out there about myself right now. Um, Dude, and this I appreciate is be a the shit opportunity show. to tell my side of the story on here. First of all, I didn't lie in the initial press conference uh, during that time. It was a very, uh, you know, witch hunt uh, that was going on across the league where everybody in the media was so concerned about who was vaccinated and who wasn't and what that meant and who was being selfish and who would talk about it and what it meant if they said it's a personal decision, they should, shouldn't have to disclose their own uh, medical information or whatnot. And at the time, my plan was to say that I've been immunized. Um, it wasn't uh, some sort of ruse or lie, it was the truth. And I'll get into the whole immunization in, in a second. But uh, had there been a follow-up to my statement that I've been immunized, I would have responded uh, with this. I would have said, look, I, I am somebody who's a critical thinker. Uh, you guys know me. I marched to the beat of my own drum. I believe strongly in bodily autonomy and the ability to make choices for your body not to have to acquiesce to some woke culture or crazed, you know, group of individuals who say you have to do something. Health is not a one size fits all for everybody. And for me, it involved a lot of study in the off season, much like the study I put into host in jeopardy or the weekly study I put into playing in the game. I put a lot of time and energy and research and met with a lot of different people in the medical field to get the most information about the vaccines before making a decision. Okay, hold on real quick. You guys are, some of you guys are saying some really funny stuff, and some of you guys are saying some really stupid stuff. <laughs> Somebody goes, yeah, basically he thinks steroids are okay, but vaccines are not. Dude, at what point, <laughs> at what point did he say that steroids are okay? <laughs> On the CDC's own website, it says, should you have an allergy to any of the ingredients, you should not get one of the mRNA vaccines. So those two were out already. So my only option was Johnson & Johnson. At this time... Oh, wait, really? Okay, so he couldn't even get... He, he has an allergy, so he couldn't even get... Moderna and the other one? What was the other one? Pfizer. Um, so he couldn't even get those. In the early spring, okay. I had heard of multiple people who had had adverse events around getting the j and Nothing that was no deaths or anything, but just some really difficult uh, times and physical uh, uh, abnormalities around uh, the J&J shot. And then in mid-April, the J&J shot got pulled for clotting issues, if you remember that, right? So the J&J shot was not the even the an option at that point. So then my options became, okay, what can I do to protect myself and my teammates um, if there's not one of the big three options for me in my own body. And so I looked into and talked again to a lot of medical individuals um, and professionals and found that there was an immunization protocol that I could go to to best protect myself and my teammates. And it was a long-term protocol uh, that involved, uh, you know, multiple months. And um, I'm very, uh, you know, proud of the research that went into that. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the individuals that I met with, and we felt like it was what was best for me. The league was fully aware of it, uh, upon my return, uh, to the Packers. And it was at that point that I petitioned them to accept my immunization status, uh, as under their vaccination protocol. Now I will say this, you're recalling the events. Of like, okay, this happened, this happened, this happened. It's not, it's not weird to have notes, right? I must be honest. This guy's been in the NFL twenty years. I played football in high school and and a little bit of college before I got hurt. I don't even remember what happened ten minutes ago. Half the time I ask you guys a question, I immediately forget that I asked a question. So I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I don't blame the guy for having notes. 
and draconian. You already told uh, us that. Wait, what did I tell measures you? Measures and protocols that you would have to adhere to, um, which, in my opinion, were not based on science. It we're more based in a shame-based environment to try and get as many guys to get vaccinated as possible, so that the league looks better. Uh, to the rest of the world. Uh, initially, they returned and said, no, you'll be in the unvaccinated category. And I also said, how come there's no exemptions for medical exemptions, uh, religious exemptions, for existing conditions? I think that there is going to be some degree of uh, the typical set number of things are bad, one thing, 10 things, whatever. And now everything else associated with that is like, oh, now everything it says is dumb. Some degree of that is going to happen, and it probably already is happening right now. But um, I just think that's something that's always kind of interesting to me. Do you guys know what I'm saying? I've always thought he was dumb, though. Okay, you know what else is funny about this? Aaron Rodgers is the guy who you either love him or you hate him. There's, there's very little in between for Aaron Rodgers, and I talked about this two weeks ago during the Thursday Night Football stream. I feel like this is just another one of those situations, which is so fitting that it's Aaron Rodgers, because the people are going to either, like... Like, you know what I mean? People see this and they're like, hell yeah. And other people are just going to be like, no, F this guy. It's the same thing, dude. It's going to be more of the same. After they came back and said, no, you, you're you unvaxxed, I said, okay, I'm going to appeal this. Um, and so we went through the process, uh, which was a multi-week process, um, where I asked them for time to gather information. I gathered over 500 pages of research um, on the efficacy of immunizations, uh, all the latest research um, surrounding my case, everything from mask wearing to um, to uh, the efficacy of the vaccines and the duration of the um, antibodies, just all the latest research, right, that, that I was getting uh, from my medical team. And in that process, we had many conversations. I enjoyed the conversation with the league. It was, it was good sharing, but one in particular stood out when I knew I was not going to win this. I had a meeting and they said, one of the main docs said, it's impossible for a vaccinated person to get COVID or spread COVID. Well, I... And at that point I knew that, uh, you know, I was definitely not going to win the appeal. And it was, it was very shortly thereafter that denied, which we know now that's, that information is totally false that was given to me. Do you guys think he is going to lie at this point? Or uh, is he just saying what he's saying? Like, it's just the truth. What reason do you think he has to lie? Because listen, hey, people want to talk about cancel culture and this and that, whatever. Something like this doesn't cancel 4,000 yards and 40 touchdowns. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, dude, hey, next year when the Steelers come calling, hey, Aaron, Mike's going to be happy. Hey, he's going to sign the check. Mike Tomlin's going to be right there when they're signing the check for him. Hey, welcome to Pittsburgh. You know, <laughs> I think it's reasonable to think that he might be lying uh, maybe for, you know, just to discount double down. But I don't know. I don't know team advised me that the danger I'd be in to get of an adverse event was greater than the risk of getting COVID and recovering. So I made a decision that was an investment of my body. You know, I don't, not telling somebody to not get vaccinated or to get vaccinated. I think you should do what's in the best interest of your body. If you're scared of, of, uh, of COVID or if you have uh, COVID morbidities, then getting vaccinated is probably in your best option. But if you have immunocompromised system, or if you have pre-existing conditions, then make the decision that's in your best interest. And that's what I did. I made the decision that was in my best interest. The stream is absolute dog shit right now. Wait, just right now? <laughs> Isn't it usually like this? I pretty much <laughs> I pretty much go about my business as usual at this point. I got the natural whatever from getting sick and then getting the shot and then getting my second shot. But are you worried about infertility now, S Fan? Hey. Listen, you want to talk about infertility? You got to, there's like several steps behind infertility where I'm at. Okay. Let's just be real. Okay. I got a long ways to go before I'm worried about infertility. So, hey, it is what it is. I consulted with 
a now good friend of mine, Joe Rogan, after he got COVID. And I've been doing a lot of the stuff that he recommended in his podcasts and, you know, on the phone to me. And I'm going to have the best immunity possible now based on the 2.5 million person study from Israel that the people who get COVID and recover have the most robust immunity. I've been taking monoclonal antibodies, ivermectin, zinc, vitamin C and D, HCQ, and I feel pretty incredible. Twitter equals S fans chat right now. Okay, don't put that evil on me. Okay, this is a place where we have highly intellectual discussion. Except right now, it's actually the shit show. Guys, listen. Listen. None of this matters, okay? At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is how many freaking rating you have. And if you're 2200 plus, one of the top red pounds on ladder, I don't care if you got COVID and the vaccine at the same time. I take the vaccine. I take that shit for breakfast, lunch, and dinner myself. I don't give a damn, okay? I put I put the vaccine pills in my ass as a suppository, okay? So, that's life. No, okay. I'm just being dumb. <laughs>